Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate y'all stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. That's right, it's Friday. And it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. This is the going wild edition of Friday's Finds. We're gonna start off with hot water. As you can see, I'm out at Tranquility Base. We decided to waypoint here on our way back from Central Texas, as opposed to where else would we want to waypoint? I mean, this is one of the best campsites I've ever, I've ever had, ever built. <laughs> of course, it's a little bit messy right now. Anyway, I often come out here. I, I often visit Tranquility Base in just the pickup. We've had power installed, and usually when I'm out here, if I'm getting hot and sweaty, and my 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 cleaning options have been limited either to a cold sponge bath, burning propane to heat up water, or even driving over to a state park and and using the shower there. That's a that's a hour round trip. <laughs> uh, so the last time I was here, I was saying, okay, well I've got electricity but I don't yet have water on site. But I always carry a jerry can full of water, and I, I encourage you if you've got a pickup and you're doing a lot of running, or even in a car, find some way to carry water with you. And I've purchased one of these gray jerry cans just to have water. This would not be drinking water. This is just, well, you could drink it if you had to. Uh, you just want to make sure you sanitize it with some iodine or something like that or run it through a filter straw to stay hydrated. Worst case scenario, if you, I'd much rather have dis digestive issues as opposed to dehydration. So worst case scenario, you can drink it. You just may have some, some, pro some issues going along. So I also carry a collapsible bucket and a, I typically have a, a five gallon bucket with me too. These are all right until they start to dry out and then the rubber will start breaking down, which is what's happened to this one. So it's got, got a hole in it right there. So I like, I like those and I've had this one for 15 years and it's just finally gave up the ghost but worst case scenario, I always have a five gallon bucket in the back of the truck as well. You never know when you're gonna need a bucket. So the, the jerry can is a very handy thing. You get them in blue cubes, square. I just tie this one up in the corner of the pickup there. So I always have five gallons of, of water. You never know when you're gonna need it. Back to what I was saying. I'm often out here working, getting hot and sweaty, and the last thing I wanna do is crawl into bed when I'm hot and sweaty and sticky and covered in sand. And so I either take a sponge bath or drive and take a shower. Well, I now have electricity. Love electricity. I now have electricity. And so I, I, I got to thinking, well, all I need is, is some way to use the electricity to heat my water. And I can take a hot sponge bath. I can, if I can heat the water, I have more options. And I don't have to burn expensive propane to do it. So that brings us to product number one. After extensive research, I found the immersion heater and I reached out to the vendor. There'll be a link in the description below and in the cart above. And they said, oh yeah. And so check this out. It's a heavy duty immersion heater. Oh, and it even includes a, a thermostat. How about that? I, I wasn't expecting that. We have a scrubby to get the scale off of it. 
So let's see how well this will heat up to about a gallon of water. Oh look, it's got a heart on the bottom. It's got hearts all over. This would be great if you were if, if you have livestock and you need to thaw out a their water supply. Wow, that's quick. Now I can com could combine this with a, a pump. Just drop a pump in this bucket of hot water and, and I'd have a shower. So we're at 80, 85.3 degrees. So while we're waiting on that, we'll move on to the the next product. Now this is not something that it's not something that I saw. Okay, in case you know, haven't noticed, I got I got lots of trees. If you've been following Friday's finds, you you you'll recall. Six months back, I did the, the chainsaw, getting work done video. That worked out great, but there's a lot of headache with carrying around a chainsaw. You gotta have fuel, you gotta have oil, you gotta have a way to sharpen your chain. So company reached out to me and they said, hey, we like your videos, would you be interested? I said, well, yeah, that looks interesting. We can go old school. So we sent me this a big long box. Ah! A whole bunch of stuff fell out of this box. VIP service for your saw. A file to sharpen your saw. And a cross cut saw. Now this is both one man and two man friendly. Let's, let's go over here. I've got some logs. Let's go test this saw. So have you figured out what the next product is? I like these sandals. Uh, I love wearing sandals, but I often find myself stumping my toes and tripping over things. So I wanted a, a sandal with a closed toe or something to protect my foot. And I found these, I found those. work out. I'm not going to be getting rid of my chainsaw. But it doesn't require fuel. Which means I can put it behind the seat of the truck and I'll always have a saw. If you've never worked with a crosscut saw before and I, it's been a long time and I forgot it's a good idea to oil it down. That way it doesn't bind up on the the tree sap. We have another Friday's Finds sponsor, and that's going to require 
a little participation from Yappy. And she's working right now, so I'll be back. Up to 100 and 150, right above it. That's actually shower temp right there. Oh, we're actually hotter than that. We're 151 on the top, and we get down to the bottom is uh, 133. So the instructions say, do not heat it up unless it's completely immersed, otherwise you'll burn out the element. I think this saw is, is very well made. Riveted on the end. Now I did have to tighten up the screws on the handle. A nice dowel. I'm, I'm really, really pleased to see that they included the the tool. You can straighten out your teeth there, or or adjust the kerf. You are going to want to keep it oiled. That way it doesn't rust and it cuts better. It, it will cut better when it's oiled. Vixseed, is, they're, they're an Amazon vendor. They reached out to me and they said, we, we, see, we really like your Friday's Finds show and we want to we wanna participate. So they sent us some boxes. Vixseed does phone equipment. This is a magnetic car mount. So if you have a magnetic case, which I do not have a magnetic case. Oh, wait. I do use magnets, I have a plate. So if, if you've got a, a phone with inductive charging, this will interfere with your inductive charge. So they've included a metal ring. actually a couple of metal rings and you put that on the back of your case the back of your phone and you can still use your inductive charging and have a mount for your phone well that's got some got some grip it's not falling off. We have two different mounts, and this would be for a vent. So we take, we put it in here. We tighten that down. Just like that. That's right handy. So we have it assembled. First the CD slot. So it'll fit in there just like that. And then you tighten the knob just like that. And that is the magnetic car mount. This is the easy clip car mount. You'll see I'm in the car right now, so I don't have to move and relocate the camera. Oh, now that's, that's nice. Dick seed. They're good folks. So we have a wide clip that fits into this wide thing. It fits into your CD player slot. So we have it assembled for the CD slot. So it'll fit in there just like that. And then you tighten the knob. Just like that. Now 
And voila! Now I have a case on my phone which makes it a little thicker, but it still it still opens up wide enough that it'll fit in there. Pop of the button and it comes right out. I like that. And I know the wife is gonna like that too. The Vic Seed mount. Now if you, you don't want to stick it in, you don't have a CD player. If, if your car does not come equipped with a CD player, as most of them now don't, or a lot of them don't, we can switch that mount over to, so this opens and closes with the twist there. And you would put that like that. Tighten it down. And there you go. Just like that. Hey guys, it's Yappy here and we got a cool find. Check out these water shoes. Look at these, are these cool or what? Aren't those funky? I love the soles. I am so excited to get to try them on and see how they are. Let me sit down. Ziva, it's going to help. We had to come home. Well, it's get, looking like it's gonna rain, so we'll be ready. These are cool. Cause this piece right here, come here dude. This piece right here, instead of having to tie, you just, you just pull it up. These are cool. These are comfortable. Walking bottom of a river. You're ready, man, or the pool. I really like these. Dude, what do you think? Aren't those fun? They're sexy. They're fun pink water shoes. These are neat. I love them, dude. All right, this is a win. This is a good one. All right. If y'all enjoyed this, if y'all enjoyed looking at our feet, please click on that thumbs up. This video took a couple of weeks for us to finish because you know, crazy stuff happens. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed these, these, this. I hope y'all enjoyed this edition of Friday's Finds, this random foot wearing tree cutting edition of Friday's Finds. I don't even remember what all was in this one. <laughs> to be, to be quite honest, I, cause the, 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 Previous footage you saw was shot two weeks ago. I have slept since then. I have built a patio air conditioner since then. Of course, y'all saw that last week. But anyway, I want to give a special shout out of thanks to the sponsors of this. That was the sponsor. Those shoes that she's wearing are sponsored. So all of these products can be found on Amazon. Link, of course, will be in the up there. The link will be in the card up there and in the description down there. That will take you to my Amazon influencer page and the Friday's Finds playlist. Your business is most appreciated. Thank you so much. If you found some value in this video, some entertainment, found something, kept you from being bored, please click on that thumbs up. If you've not already, we'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, Buzzard Days is coming. Y'all get ready. Thank you so much for following along and for our patrons. We are so grateful. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?